everybody. So today we are going to be doing the throat chakra healing spreads. Um, I just wanted to say really quick thank you to everyone that has taken the time to subscribe, hit like. Uh, it's a really kind of awesome to see the feedback from you guys and those that have left comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you for taking the time. Uh, like I said, the feedback's really amazing, especially when your spirit's kind of like, this is what you're going to do and you're going to like it. Hearing the feedback and knowing that it's resonating with you or just seeing that thumbs up really does do a lot. So I appreciate you guys for creating in that way with me. Today we are doing the throat chakra spread. Uh, huge shout out to the Capitol. videos collectively through YouTube and I'm seeing like a higher spike in views on the Capricorns than any of the others. But I did start with the earth signs like twice already so I'm going to start with air signs this time uh, like I did the last time for the heart chakra. All of the information about the throat chakra, how to heal it, different ways to help you feel better if you feel like your throat chakra is blocked or you get this reading and you realize that your throat chakra is blocked. All of that information is at the end of the videos, so that you guys can watch it then, you can get your reading, you can come back to it, you can screenshot it, whatever works for you. So, I just wanted to say again, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and sharing space with me, and I appreciate you guys. Hello, Cancer! So today we're going to do your throat chakra healing spread. Let's see what we've got for you guys. I ask my guides, my galactic guardians, my angels, my archangels, and my ancestors, please help me to set my ego aside so that I can give cancer the message that isn't their highest good today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see what we got for you guys. The dog's really mad at me, guys. She's just at the end of the table looking at me because she knows that there's banana nut bread up here but I can't very well feed her banana nut bread she likes to be fed four pounds of fury over here yes you like to be fed by hand huh well I can't do it right now I've got two more readings to do yeah you tell them I wish you guys could see her she's a Sagittarius she's a little saucy <laughs> alright so the first card is going to be representing your throat chakra right now See where Cancer's throat chakra is right now, please. Where is Cancer's throat chakra? Where is Cancer's throat chakra? Where is Cancer's throat chakra? Come on. <laughs> Cancer's throat chakra right now, please. One card. Cancer's throat chakra right now, please. Mm, feeling as if things are falling away not really sure what to trust feeling like maybe things around you are shady um, not long term uh, there's a f kind of like a not really a facade but not not the whole picture you're seeing bits and pieces all right what is something that cancer unconsciously feels guilty of that they need to let go please there's something that cancer feels unconsciously guilty of okay you're feeling complacent and you feel guilty about that complacency like if you see there's a, a consistency of sitting like in the chair like just sitting there like not really sure what to do like you're just not really you're not digging it you're not digging where you're at right now and it's like you're, you feel guilty about feeling complacent and I just want to say like anytime that we feel unhappy or a vibration that is less than the feeling of bliss it may not seem like it but it's actually good and the reason that it's good is that it lets us know that there needs to be a change and I know that sounds kind of like oh duh obviously well yeah okay duh obviously so what change are you going to make so that you either a allow yourself to stop feeling guilty about feeling your feelings because you cannot actually you can never heal or solve the things that you're dealing with if you won't actually give yourself the time to feel what it is you need to heal you have to feel it to be able to heal it. Like that just that's how it has to go. So there's um, a, an unconscious guilt connected with this complacency. And that's kind of so far like the overall feeling is that like 
it's and it's like a revolving door like there's no for you there's no way to step out of it because it's the perspective that's being served up so what's a way that uh cancer can communicate more effectively please how can cancer communicate more effectively please Your inability to connect with yourself is what's keeping you from seeing things in a different light. And it's also keeping you from speaking your truth to the highest regard. Um, needing to see the, the magic. Me needing to see the, the possibilities of differences. The possibilities of mysticism. Be feeling mystified. You need that to kind of like give you a jolt out of this feeling and that's going to help you communicate more effectively in your truth by doing that and what's the best way for uh cancer to balance a chakra yeah self-discovery that flew out before i could even finish it you know i don't even know <laughs> like there's a need to self-discover to connect with your higher self your guides to maybe go within or maybe go into the past of where your family's from. I'm, that, I usually don't get that with that card. They want you to look into your past, your family's past. Sorry, guys, my nose is just... Um, connecting with guides, higher self, the mysticism will help the feeling of things falling away and being complacent, like feeling as if nothing is connected, nothing is um, rooted for you. And realizing that the the lack of feeling rooted comes from the lack of connection with your guides and the lack of the mysticism in your life the lack of the magic the lack of what can't really be explained but you know it's there all right what's the um, result of cancer balancing the chakra please it's the result of cancer balancing the chakra please Mm. so I'm getting that you're gonna go into your heart I don't feel like you're out gossiping right now I don't feel like that's what's happening I feel like you're out of your heart and because you're out of your heart <clears throat> and you're not connected and you're disconnected from self and that's why you're out of your heart you're feeling complacent you're just like whatever like people couldn't even bring you juicy gossip right now and you would just be like i really don't give a shit and like i'm like that too i could give i i don't care at all like i i really actually get offended when people bring me like drama i'm a libra sun and libra moon though like i don't like it you know so but this isn't about gossip this is about you like connecting to your heart and once you balance your sh your chakras there's an expansion there's a heart expansion that happens and that's really, really beautiful, Cancer. But it takes you going within and finding that uh, connection with self. No one else can do that for you. Only you can do that. No one else can connect you to your heart chakra. Only you can connect with your heart chakra. And it's like when we fall in love, um, you know, when we find somebody that we feel like we're in love with or that we're just like, I need them for the rest of my life. I need them to be in our life. The reason that you feel that way is that they offer a vibration that is closest to your soul vibration because we are just a mere universe, right? So when you feel that feeling of love from another and you're feeling, oh my God, they're the ones that make me feel that way. No, actually, they're just mirroring back to you what you hold within. And the reason that they have that ability is that you're vibrating on the same, same level. So by getting into your heart, you're going to find other soul people that you vibrate with. I don't know where the love thing came from, but there's like an emphasis on the heart chakra. So maybe you're even helping yourself come into connection with your twin flame by finding this this connection but there is a necessity for you to connect with self all right please give me a divine circus oracle card for cancer all right lady luck yeah okay number 41 
Lady Luck is on your side. A change of fortune is in store for you. A twist of fate that is meant to be. You're a winner, baby. You're about to hit the jackpot. Woohoo! <laughs> Do you think that luck is something that only happens to other luckier people? Your attitude can attract luck to your side, no matter if you thought once you were the unluckiest person alive. Luck is attracted to a certain type of consciousness, an attitude, a belief that life wants to help you, and has the infinite power and creation of imagination to do it in endless ways. Attracting luck means being open to the genius of life, which works out itself out perfectly, bringing benefits to us again and again, even if we have no clue how, where, or why it operates the way it does. When Lady Luck appears, you are being given a golden ticket, a lucky break, a change in fortune that is always meant to be for you, that was in your stars. You can turn this lucky break into a lucky streak that stays with you for a long, long time, or even forever with your attitude, your belief in the goodness of life, and the generosity of your spirit. Feel the thrill, the gratitude, the joy of being a winner, and thank the universe for it with the following affirmation every day. Luck will visit you soon, and it will love being around you so much, it's going to decide to stay. So there's a healing trick and an affirmation that's connected with this, and I'm going to type it up and have it right after this reading. So I hope that this helped you, Cancer. Um, I hope that you can give yourself that time to go within. Because once you do, the complacency and the feeling of being disconnected and having really no purpose is going to dissipate, and you're going to come into um, your heart and your love for self. And that really is a beautiful, beautiful energy to be in. All right. Namaste.